doing an overdub for Holt here. I thought this had some really great uh, little moments, you know, and uh, uh, those kind of moments, you know, and, and the bluesy moments, you know. You know, those kind of things, and uh, yeah, great composition, a lot of fun to play on it. Um, music is very important to me, uh, but I think it's, music is, has its perspective in my life and its balance in my life because of my relationship with the Lord and my family. And, and uh, to me, faith and uh, the love of my family and the love I have for my family, I think is even more important than music to me. I think when I was a teenager, uh, music was higher up on the ladder of importance, you know, and uh, uh, although I take it seriously, um, I'd rather take it rather than have it take me. I don't know how to put it. I just, I could say, Jesus, I'm yours, but I can't say to music, I'm yours. Oh. When we're creative and happy and joyful in creating something, it makes God's heart happy. I think so. You know, just like uh, I'm, I'm a father of three children, and whenever they're creative, when they were little, drawing pictures or making something, you know, building something, and they're happy they did it. And I, I rejoice in watching them fe uh, being fulfilled and doing that. And so I think I think God's heart. Um, uh, rejoices when we are doing what we're created to do, you know. We all have our gifts. Um, and I think also praising Him and acknowledging Him, uh, may the glory go to Him, is good. And it's good for us because, you know, I think it's great to, to be creative but not have to be a huge megastar. I mean, you know, I really do. The first thought that comes to me as to why God gave us music is because I think God is the creator of all good things, and I think in God's, where God dwells, uh, there is music. There must be amazing music. There must be unbelievable music. The Bible says that eye has not seen and ear has not heard the things that God has prepared for us. So I think we'll, we'll hear and discover wonderful things, and I think one of those wonderful things in heaven will be... Uh, God's music and His creativity, you know, in, in song and um, symphony, you know. But here on earth, <clears throat> we get to partake in the wonder of it all, you know, that vibrations create, you know, melody and chords and emotion. You know. From chords to... Uh, to, um, you know, fun little things like that. It's, it's like, they're like raindrops. Everyone is individually, every moment that a note is made and a phrase is given, expressed, it, it, it'll be that way, you know. You, you can never completely duplicate it again. When you enter into somebody else's music and you resonate with it and you, you, you receive from it and then you add to it or you join it, <clears throat> you join it musically, uh, it's like your musical soul and that person's musical soul is, you know, there's something else that happens. Some people call it synergy. Some people call it magic. <laughs> um, I, I, I just think it's a, it's a, a sense of um, wonder, you know, to me. Um, and when two guitarists who were really fine players like Julian Bream and John Williams, when they did an album, they said, there's nothing better than a guitar but twain, you know. And um, I think they meant to by that. When two join together and they create a new sound. Uh, one of the influences, or two and many more influences in my musical life growing up, was uh, McCartney and Lennon, Lennon McCartney. And uh, when John sang a song, it sounded like John. When Paul sang a song, it sounded like Paul. 
But when John and Paul sang together, it was another sound, you know. Everly Brothers had that too. Many singers and uh, friends and families who have joined in their, their, their sound and their style together. And, the, and like if it's a threesome, they all have an individual voice. And then when the three sing together, it's, it's amazing. It's another sound. So you're creating something with your creativity. And, uh, and uh, what we do is we don't always get it perfect. We don't get it right. But it's the attempt, it's the challenge, and it's the joy of doing it. You know, I think that's part of it. Sometimes you gotta keep on working at this.